Hello and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through an exciting integration, Microsoft Planner with SharePoint using Power Automate. We will set up a flow to automatically create a task in Planner whenever new documents are uploaded or edited, and then we will assign the task to some relevant people and update the task detail as well. I'm in a SharePoint site. I have a Project X document library. And then if I go to the Planner, I have a Planner called Project X. Now we need to make sure when someone upload a document or make a change to a document in this library, it will automatically create a task in Planner with all the details. Now to achieve that, we need to navigate to make.powerautomate.com and from the left-hand menu, we need to click on create. I will select an automated cloud flow because the trigger is going to be when a file is uploaded or modified in a document library. So I will select automated cloud flow. I will give this flow a name. I will say create planner task for project X. I will search for the right trigger and the trigger I'm going to use is when a file is created or modified properties only because we need to retrieve the properties so we can create a planner task with the title and the URL of the file. I will select that and click on create. So first, let's configure this trigger. I will click on the trigger and then from the left-hand menu, I need to select a site. So the site, in this case, we will select this SharePoint site. And then the document library, as I mentioned, we have Project X library there. So I will select that. So we are done with the trigger configuration. Next, I need to create a task in the planner. For that, I need to come here and add a new action, add an action, and then I will search for task. And then you can see all the planner task action here. If I click on see more, you can see all the planner task action we can use inside Power Automate. So I will select the first one, create a task. So this is the preview action. And we have also the old create a task action. So I can just use any of these. First, we need to select the group ID which has this Project X plan connected to. The group name will be the same as the Project X in my case. So I will, from the drop down, select Project X. And then the plan ID, there's only one plan associated with this group. So I will select Project X plan. And the title of this task, I will say review hyphen and here I will add the document name dynamically. So I will click on this sign here and then I will click on see more option to see all the properties and then I will search for name. So we can select file name of the item in document library. So I will select that. I will click on show all to see all the other properties. First thing we need to assign here is bucket ID. So if I go to the Project X plan, we can see there are a few buckets to review, blocked and reviewed. We will assign a task to this first to review bucket. So I will go back and then from the bucket dropdown, I will select to review bucket. The start date time, we can select it date time now. So for that, I will click on the expression to add UTC now expression, which will add the start date time as now. For the due date, we can add maybe three, five, 10 days, whatever is your requirement, or you can get that information from metadata in the same document library. But for now, we can just create a expression and then we'll say add days, add days to UTC now, and how many days you want to add is five so five days in future is always going to be the due date for these type of tasks so i will click on add assigned user id so this is where you can assign a user to this task you can type in their email addresses and if there are multiple user you can then add a semicolon and then add second email address you can also assign the the colors for these different type of tasks. So let's say these review tasks are red category. So I will select a red category color and I will say to yes, you can select many different colors here. Okay, so we are done with create a task action. 
next we need to add update task detail action because we need to add link to this document inside the planner task so whenever someone go into the planner task they can see which document to review and they can copy the link directly from the planner task so to do that i will click on this plus sign add an action i will search for task action so i will click on see more again so you can see update task detail action this is the action we're looking for i will select that and then i will need to select the task id which is the id from this previous action i will click on this drop down and i will select enter custom value and then i will need to add the value from the previous step so i will select this dynamic value option and then create a task i will click on see more and then i will search for id so i can see the id of the task this is the task id we need to add in here so we can update the description for the same task now for the description column i can say please go ahead and review this document and then i can put a text as link and then after colon i can just add the dynamic value for that link i will select the dynamic value option here and then i can click on see more to see all the properties of this trigger so we are interested in link to item so i will select link to item property now if i click on show all to see all the advanced parameters you can add references and you can add checklists as well so let me add some checklist items here so i will click on add new item i will give it a number as one and the title as review document is checked by default is false let's add another checklist item and the id this time will be two and the title will be highlight issues and then this is also false so the person needs to review the document and highlight the issues so these are the two checklists for this task so we are done with the flow i will click on the top right corner and hit save so let's go ahead and upload this document into the sharepoint site so i will select the site i will go to the document in my local drive and i will drag and drop here so the document is uploaded it will now trigger the flow and create a task in the planner i will click on this back button to go back to the flow main page now we can see the flow ran successfully now if i go back to the project plan and refresh the page i can see the planner task is created and if i review it you can see the category is red as we said the bucket is to review bucket and the progress by default is not started priority is medium and the start date is today and the due date is five days from today and then you can see in the note there is a link to the document itself i will copy that and then you can see there is a checklist available here as well now if i paste the link i can see the document here as well now you can take this automation further by adding condition for example you could create tasks only if certain file types are uploaded or if the document has been approved for a particular stage to add a condition simply insert a condition control after your shape on trigger where you can define the rules that determine whether a task should be created or not and there you have it a quick and easy way to integrate microsoft planner with sharepoint using power automate this automation ensures that every file uploaded or edited triggers a task helping your team stay organized and on top of things without manual interventions if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you have any question drop them in the comment below make sure to subscribe for more productivity tips, power platform tutorials, and Moxo 365 hacks. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.